if you're looking to sound like Deftones or Loathe or anything like that, like the shoegaze type sound, I'm going to show you exactly how. But don't touch that mouse. You're watching Sunlight Productions. Alright, so I'm not going to waste your time. I'm going to show you exactly how to sound like them. And after you watch this entire thing, I can almost guarantee you that you follow everything I do. You're going to sound like them. First of all, before I get into this video, this preset along with this recording preset that I used for this, I'm not going to cover this in this video, but this is the exact recording preset I use on all my songs. This one included, if you want this, what I want you to do is go get my free mixing checklist. It's the first link in the description. As soon as you click the download now button for my mixing checklist, it's going to pop up on your screen with an offer to get my vocal preset pack. Now, literally when it comes to anything vocal preset wise, this is literally the best fucking offer you're ever going to get. It's 20 of my vocal presets all in a bundle for you. So that's all you got to do to go get this exact preset and then you can drag it on and you don't have to watch this entire video so now that i have the preset on i want you to pay attention and listen to how quiet i can whisper but then how loud it's still going to be because what this preset really does to your vocals is it compresses them a lot so that even when you're quiet you'll be still loud because if you know deftones chino marino he tends to whisper a lot but it's not actually quiet on the sound and in order to accomplish that is by compression so uh, this vocals are very compressed and it's very distorted but i'm going to cover all of the effects i just want you to hear what it sounds like so there's a lot of static but with a pain. so yeah if you want to get rid of the static if you have that on your voice all you have to do is just add a noise gate it's very simple um but anyway let's get into the effects so parametric eq what i do here is i take this first band i right click I put high pass and then order steep eight and I'm cutting out a lot of the lows. Normally on other vocals, I wouldn't go this harsh, but for these vocals, I like to cut out the lows because it's a very thin kind of vocal that you're going for. So you can take out a lot more low end than you normally would. Then I just have this subtractive EQ right here, just cutting out some of the mids that I don't like. And then these right here, they may look weird to you if you're not into vocal mixing. All that I did for these was I just dragged them up like this and then listened around and sweeped around on my vocals and i found whatever sounded harsh and whatever like hurt my ears and then i just cut them down the next thing i have is a compressor i use cla 76 for this and i have the attack all the way up the release all the way up the ratio to 20 like i said we are compressing a lot just change the input and output to whatever you like then i have another compressor after that this one isn't a CLA, this is just a different compressor that I have. I turn the attack all the way to 0.1, ratio to 10, and then threshold, I turned it very low so that it's so it's literally compressing all of my vocals. And then the makeup, I have it turned up so you can hear it. And then I have this EQ. I did the exact same thing as I just explained. Put them up, and then whatever sounded bad, I put them down. And then I also did a high-end boost like this. And then I have auto-tune. Now, honestly... It would not make a very big difference if I didn't have the auto-tune on. This is a very, 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 very tiny tweaking auto-tune. It barely does anything to my vocals. When it comes to tuning your vocals with this kind of music, you really should be on on key pretty much all of the time. And if you're off key, it's probably better to just manually retune them by clicking here, clicking pitch correct sample, and then fixing it that way because auto-tune can give a robotic sound and it sounds less natural, but honestly, mine is doing such a little amount of auto-tune that it doesn't really matter. Then I have this plugin right here, and I have this literally just maxed out. It's a distortion plugin, and you can use any distortion plugin. You can use like Sound Goodizer or whatever. It, it really doesn't matter using saturation on your vocals. This is a free plugin, by the way. And then I have a reverb. I have the wet turned up, the separation all the way turned to the left, and then the low cut all the way up. And then I just turn it down with this knob right here. Then I also have a delay. It's set to the one, two, three, four, five, the fifth circle. And then that's all I did to it. And then I just turned it down. In FL, you have this arrow right here and it links to tracks. So normally all of these tracks are defaulted to the master. If I don't have it on the master and I click this, you won't be able to hear it. But what I can also do is take it off of the master but then put it to another track and then have this track go to the master so it's going to basically all of these effects from this insert then it's going to send it straight to this insert 
and then this insert is going to send all of it to the master if you want to have more effects than just this or you want to have it a little bit more clean or whatever this is what i recommend you do you just click this button here and then you click whatever you want to link it to and then have this one that you link to going to the master so now all of these effects are also going to be added on to this and then all of these effects are going to go to the master the first effect i have on this next insert is a fruity chorus so i just have it on the one of these i don't know i think i clicked the right arrow here two times and then i just turned it down then i have a destructor and this really like kind of an ass plugin but i just used it anyway because i wanted some extra distortion so all i did was turn these two off I turned up the post filter a little bit and the color all the way up and then filter I didn't do anything with. Then I have another one of these and this is cranked all the way to the max once again. I have another compressor. This is basically the same as the last one except the ratio is 8 this time. The attack is still at 0.1 and the threshold is still very very low and the makeup is turned up so you can hear it. And then the last thing I have is an EQ that looks like this. This thins the vocal out a ton and what you want to make sure from this EQ that you do is you right click on this band, click steep 8, type low pass, and then you can actually scroll up on your scroll wheel and it'll make it a little bit more wide. And then you just want to get rid of all of the frequencies up in this range because they are very airy sounding and they will not sound good at all. And then once again, I just did another high pass. So if you listen to my vocals, it's not a lot, but I just put this video together because I knew a lot of people want to know how to sound like this and this is a, a very very accurate way of sounding like it how could they deal with the pain? as long 